Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I haven't did a video in a while, so I kind of want to give you a little update what's going on. I took some time off during the holidays and did some stuff uh, around the garage I've been wanting to do. I've got uh, some shelves and some kind of decorative old stuff kind of put up. Uh, I got me some uh, cabinets done, got some old... Uh, Old Hot Wheels, or not old Hot Wheels, some of them's old, but some old motors manual and Chilton books and stuff, some Coleman lanterns I like to collect. I got uh, got water running to the garage. Got me an outdoor spigot down here. Man, it's cold today too. Man, it's nice to have water finally out at my garage. I'm going to eventually hook up a sink, probably a bathroom. But I uh, also got internet and Wi-Fi out here. I was kind of at the range of my router at the house. I added another router. So I have two routers, one off, running off one modem coming from my house. And got me a TV hooked up out here. Watch all you guys uh, doing your videos, getting the TV playing in the background. So now I got me a TV and like I say, Wi-Fi out here. And, uh, that's about it for the improvements. I got uh, put me a couple of 16 foot shelves up here. Got some more storage space. Everybody knows you got stuff in the garage. It's laying all over the floor and everything, so now I can get it up on the shelf. So I uh, got the uh, Impala. Let me get a light right here. The 68. It's kind of been sitting for a while, but I have. I've got the floor pans about finished up. Uh, I think where I left off, I was maybe working on the seat pan, but I've got this side here pretty much done. It's all kind of tacked in. I'm going to go back and weld it. I'm going to have to work on the uh, toe board up front. i got a little bit of welding up there on that side. And uh, ordered some uh, some of this kill mat. I'm going to put this kill mat in. I think uh, a lot of people like it. It's a lot cheaper than uh, maybe Dynamat, some of the more expensive stuff. This is, uh, I think, the 80 mil. So that's what's going on. I did uh, some filming and talking about this gas tank. Uh, filmed some with my camera phone. So I may add that here and you can see what's going on with that. That tank's heavy. It's got a lot of fuel in it. So I'll just use our little handy dandy trailer here. Get this thing turned around. And we'll uh, come out here and load it up. And roll it in. That way I won't have to do the farmer's walk. Get that tank in there and slosh old fuel all over me. Yeah, the older I get, I remember all the old guys saying it works smart. Not hard. So get her in here and I'll tilt it up and drain his fuel out. I know it's going to be looking some rough looking fuel. Oh boy, it smells good. Let me tell you, it smells good. You hear them say the old varnish smell? I'm probably gonna wish I did this outside my garage because, man, it stinks. Let's see if we can get this pickup, the sending unit knocked out here, and uh, get a glimpse of what it looks like inside. Yep, knock loose real easy. If you never took one of these out, like I say, it just, this ring, the tabs, goes in like that, run these tabs up, they'll lock in place and hold that in place. But you knock it back counterclockwise and then you can just pull that out. Yeah, got the ring off and prize it under here with a screwdriver. Get it loose. And this kind of mess comes out of here. It's a seal. Sock fell off in there, right there. Yeah. 
This is your pickup sock. It helps fill to your fuel. Let's sit down in here. I shove my light down in here. I might can get my phone. Y'all can see, but I can't see. Hey, you see y'all working with me tonight? Let's go feed the goats. It's always fun. <clears throat> okay. This is my nightly chore. This is a little mix of corn and goat feed. Come on guys, let's go. They think I'm gonna feed them in here, but I'm not. Come on guys. This is where I feed them. You can do it. And while they eat down there, then I can give them a little bit of hay. So they'll be good for the night. Got them a little stall here and uh, their hay and water outside. So they're good for the night. You know, I got to looking at this gas tank a lot more and the more I look at it, the better it looks inside. I, I can put this light down in here put this light down in here can I, and I can really see you know pretty good ways up in there into the sides and everything so I'm not going to give it uh, like a muriatic acid or something really harsh to clean it out with I'm just going to use uh, apple cider vinegar a lot of people use apple cider vinegar to clean these tanks I'm going to pour some of that in there and I'm going to this chain down in there and just move it around everywhere in any loose particles. It should give it a loose particles free it up. Now, I did see that a lot of people will mix uh, salt with the apple cider vinegar and uh, it makes a some type of reaction and creates something like a hydrochloric, a mild hydrochloric acid or some type of acid. Uh, but I don't think I need to do that. So I'm just going to Put the apple cider vinegar in there, uh, chain in there, and just try to clean it up. And I'm gonna start rinsing it out. Start rinsing it out and see what it looks like. Another thing about using uh, vinegar is I don't like using anything I can't just pour out in my yard or beside my garage. So I don't really want to use a any type of acid. So we're going to use this. A gallon of this is like $4, so it's cheap. And uh, also, you hear a lot of people using nuts and bolts and screws and everything. Well. I'm just going to use the chain. It's going to be a lot easier to get out than having to fish out all them nuts and bolts with a magnet. So we're just going to use this for now. So I let this tank soak overnight and uh, you can see yesterday I took a wire brush wheel on my drill and I cleaned it up a little bit. So I'm going to drain this thing today, see what it looks like inside. 
and then we'll maybe put some paint on it. You know, I thought there would be a lot more rust particles or trash or whatever. But, like I say, it's pretty clean inside that tank. I'm just not seeing much. But I'm going to continue to drain it. It's still a lot in the bottom, so I'm going to pour some more of that out. I know there's some pieces of that uh, old pickup sock. So I got me a coat of paint on this thing, and uh, you know, I rinsed it out several times. It looks fairly clean inside. The tank looks good. There's a few areas underneath with some light pitting on them, uh, like I said, on the bottom. Uh, but it's set, and uh, I didn't see any moisture seeping through, so I don't think there's no leaks in the thing. I got to order a uh, sending unit. This has the old style, that canister type. And I've looked, it don't even list as canister type for this uh, 68 Impala. So maybe some of you guys know, I guess I'll have to run the, the new type that has the, you know, the lever float. So i got to order me a sending unit. I'm going to get some of the insulators for the tank straps. And then that'll be ready to go back in. Uh, you know, I'm excited. I'm going to get this thing on the road in the spring to where we can enjoy it a little bit, you know. It will still have work, that a lot of work needs to be done to it, but the main thing is get it uh, back out on the road, running, driving, and hopefully we can hit some car shows this year. I hope the, uh, the COVID uh, with the vaccine, I hope things get better, you know, try to be optimistic. So I'm trying to get back to work on these old cars. I've been kind of flipping some used cars, trying to make some money working on these. So appreciate you watching, guys. I've uh, hit 300 subscribers. It's kind of a, a small milestone for me. I need uh, 700 more to get to 1,000. So please like, please subscribe. It was out a lot. Thanks, guys.